Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on external cephalic version, ECV. It is defined as the transabdominal manipulation of a bridge presenting fetus into cephalic presentation. It is usually done at or after 37 completed weeks of gestation and we have to rule out contraindications before doing this ECV and there are also some preparation and procedure which I will explain in the video later on. So this picture shows the overview of external cephalic version where we turn the baby which is at first at the bridge presentation turn it into cephalic presentation. These are the contraindications divided for maternal and fetal and these are the conditions where we should not do ECV. For maternal contraindications, external cephalic version is contraindicated if there is placenta previa, recent antipartum hemorrhage within 7 days, pre-labor pre rupture of membrane, multiple pregnancy like twins or triplets we cannot do ECV, preeclampsia, major uterine abnormalities, uterine scar present, or there is cervical fibroid. Whereas the fetal contraindications include fetal abnormality such as anencephaly or hydrocephalus, fetal neuromuscular conditions, oligo or polyhydramnios, unstable lie of the fetus or abnormal CTG. These are the prerequisites for external cephalic version. The baby must be at least 37 weeks period of gestation, given counselling and informed consent by the mother, recent ultrasound to confirm the bridge presentation of the baby, confirm the fetus is normal and normal liquor volume, because it is contraindicated in oligo or polyhydramnios. Make sure there is reactive CTG before the external cephalic version for 20 minutes. Prepare, make sure there is facilities for LSCS, which is caesarean section, in case there is failed ECV, and also check the research status of the mother. There are some risks of external cephalic version where they might be placenta eruptio, transplacental hemorrhage, cord entanglement or accident. It may cause pre labor rupture of membrane, fetal bradycardia, and it might also cause uterine rupture or uterine scar dehiscence. These are some of the risks we should know for ECV. So I'll talk about the procedure before the ECV, during the ECV, and after the ECV. So before doing this external cephalic version, we have to obtain a written informed consent of the mother and also preparation for emergency lower segment caesarean section by setting up the IV line and make sure the patient has fasted for around 4-6 to six hours. Ultrasound to confirm the presentation of the baby and pre-ECV CTG for 20 minutes for baseline. IV infusion of tocolytics for 30 minutes prior to CTG if the uterus is not relaxed. Also empty the bladder and the ECV can be performed in the labor ward. These are the steps of external cephalic version. So place the patient in a supine position, apply powder or gel over the abdomen, and with a pelvic grip, the bridge is displaced to one iliac fossa first, while the other hand place over the fetal head and both hand works together to turn the fetus in a forward somersault manner while keeping the fetus flex. So gentle intermittent version force is applied over both poles and if the forward somersault fails, we can attempt reverse somersault. After the external cephalic version and again CTG for at least 30 minutes, check whether there is any pervaginal bleeding or loss of lycra and also I am rogam in non-sensitized versus negative patient within 72 hours. So after the ECV, is it successful or failed ECV? If successful, so take note the external cephalic version, we can only do maximum 3 attempts. If 3 attempts still fail, then we consider fail and there will be further management. So if ECV is successful, we can manage like cephalic presentation allow to wait for labor until the estimated date of delivery, continue antenatal follow-up, and the delivery must be in a hospital. Whereas if after three attempts, the ECV is still failed, then we consider it as failed ECV. So discuss with the patient whether they want to repeat ECV a week later at the 38 week of gestation, or can opt for elective lower segment caesarean section. So monitor the maternal and fetal condition until 38 weeks and by 38 weeks of gestation, we have to decide the mode of delivery. 
either wait for spontaneous labor or elective cesarean section at 39 weeks. That's all for this video. Thank you.